Okay, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to work on 3.8, designing an app part 3. So you guys are basically continuing uh, creating the app process. Uh, let's go over this real fast. I want to make sure you guys remember these things. You want to try to keep your code clean by using uh, clear, meaningful IDs. And those IDs go like this. If I were to look, I'm just going to give you guys an example real fast. If I were to look on my project, and this is this is where you'll be today, lesson eight, number three. <clears throat> Let's just say I had this button and it was going to take me to the next screen. If I were to go to the design view, I would I want to make sure this button would take me uh, screen one, but I would want to call it screen one button camel casing. And the reason why is to make sure that I stay organized. Okay, we've been over that before, but uh, we're just that's just a reminder okay uh, keep it organized keep your code organized and keep it in chunks that do the same thing uh, put the comments in there the gray blocks that you guys have seen with a backslash backslash um, <clears throat> make sure after you start putting some code in go ahead and test it see if it's working like you want it to um, and another thing I'd say is Talk out problems with a partner or classmate. If you guys are at home, you can talk it out with your brother, sister, mom and dad, aunt and uncle, whoever you live with. Okay, Or you could call up a buddy who knows BOL, maybe working on something kind of similar, and, and kind of bounce some ideas off of them. Don't do the exact same thing. And hand tracing code, guys, is this right here. I could go look on this code, and hand tracing it would be like I'd be able to read it, read it out and kind of interpret what it says. So... On the event that screen one is clicked, um, this is going to print. Screen one clicked is going to print down here, and then it's going to set the screen to screen one. Okay, so I, that's called hand tracing. You should be able to go through and say, I, "I'm kind of reading this in English as I'm as I'm going." Okay, so you guys should be able to do that. Um, today's assignment. Here's what you guys are going to do. You're going to go open this worksheet back up. This is our unit three worksheet. Okay. Looks just like this. You should have saved this in your computer science folder. You shouldn't have turned it in yet. This is a, it's an ongoing project that we're going to keep working on. You guys have done steps one through four already, and you should have uploaded your sketches of your screens. On step five, we're going to do the prototyping phase. So basically, forget working with a partner. You guys need to go on uh, the classroom, whatever class you're in. And when I put this uh, assignment on, I also put this YouTube link. Make sure you watch that YouTube video about how to do pair programming. Typically on a normal year, we would do pair programming and basically where one kid or one person would be actually at the computer doing the typing and we what we call is driving. And um, and the other the other programmer would have the instructions basically and they would be reading out or, or giving commands about what to do so it's kind of like you're in a car one person's driving one person's navigating that's basically what pair programming is due to COVID we're probably not going to do that this year but we want you to know what it is so don't don't worry about the partner thing you don't have a partner but you guys are going to use program specification that you drew as a starting point. So you're going to use your sketches and you're going to look at it. So this, say I got a sketch here. This is screen one. I'm going to say there's a button right there. It's my flavor button. Okay, I would go down and write uh, whatever I called it in my element ID. And that, that's this part right here. And my element ID is right there. What did I call it? Okay. In my element ID, I'm going to write, let's just say, flavor button. Because I'm going to make one up. I already did a couple above it. Okay, what's the action for the flavor button? Well, it's a click. Okay, it's not a mouse over. It's not a key down. And what happens when I hit the flavor butter button? Flavor button. It takes me to the flavor screen. Okay, that's the things you need to do for every element. And if you have an image, so I'll put like dog image is what I named it. I mouse over the dog image, a barking noise place. Okay, I tell the action of how to make it uh, happen. And what if, what actually happens whenever that that happens? So you guys need to do this for all the elements on all three or four, maybe five of your screens. Okay, that shouldn't take you very long. After you do that, you guys are going to navigate to lesson eight. Okay, I showed you this before. You're going to scroll down to lesson eight. Now make sure you're not doing lesson uh, four. Okay, building your screens. It won't let you do all the same things. You're going to go down to lesson eight. It's going to have all the all the progress you've already made. Okay. 
every screen you probably built is going to be just right here, and it's going to have it's going to come up with a way for you guys to code. So let's throw this away. If I wanted to code, uh, let's just say this button, okay, I'd put an on event, okay, and I would change the inputs, or these are also called parameters. I would call the I would change the parameters to when screen one button clicked, and I would put clicked. Then I would do what? What do I want to do? Well, I want it to set my screen to screen two or whatever. Whatever you want it to be. But you guys are going to end up coding that. Um, you're going to code, try to code all of your screens to make them, make them work, make them run. And remember, this doesn't have to be the craziest, best app in the world. You guys are just getting your feet wet. You're getting started. You're learning how to switch from screen to screen using buttons. There needs to be images on there. There needs to be labels with, with text on there that kind of show some information. This is supposed to be an educational app. Uh, have fun doing this. Uh, you guys are going to go back and forth from design and code if you need to. Uh, once you guys get those, those parts done, you guys are done with that assignment for the day. We'll come back to Unit 3 and work on the rest of this later. The only other thing you need to do is I put... Uh, U Science, and I'm going to add a, a separate video to this in just a second, uh, telling the instructions. But you guys need to finish the U Science stuff, and you're going to put it up here for your points.